Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you how to create an RSVP form for your WordPress site by using the WP Forms plugin. When you plan an event, you'll need to know who's coming and what the requirements are. Collecting RSVPs on your site is an easy way to keep track of attendees so you can plan your event more easily. With that said, let's get to it. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head over to the add ons page to activate the Form Templates Pack add on. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible, or you can start completely from scratch if you want. If you have the WP Forms Pro license, you can activate the Form Templates Pack add-on to have access to even more pre-made templates. Once the add-on has been activated, we can head over to the Form Builder by going to the Add New tab on the left. As you can see, we've got a lot of different templates we can choose from, including a simple RSVP template, which we're going to go ahead and select. Once the template is loaded into the Form Builder, you can customize it however you want. You can either add in new fields by dragging them from the left over to the right, rearrange the order of the existing fields, or delete them entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. If you wanted to make this form entirely from scratch, you can do that too. If you click on the fields, you'll be able to see which fields were used. In this template, we used a multiple choice field, a numbers field, a checkboxes field, a single line text field, and a paragraph field. You can change the label of the fields, add descriptions, or make certain fields required. You can make adjustments as necessary depending on your needs. When you're done, click on the Save button on the top right corner, and we're ready to set up our notification and confirmation settings. We'll click on the Settings tab on the left, and we'll first click on Notifications. The Admin Email in the Send to Email Address field refers to the admin email address for your WordPress website, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. If you'd like the user to receive a copy of this same notification email, you can use the smart tag that belongs to the email field in your form. Click on the Show Smart Tags text on the top right corner of this field, and then click on the option that says Email. You'll then see the smart tag that corresponds to the email field in your form. Just be sure to separate each smart tag or manually entered email address in this field with a comma. You can customize the subject line for the notification email as well as the name the email will say it's from. You can enter an email address in the Reply To field if you would like for users to be able to reply to this email. Finally, in the Message portion, you can include a custom message if you'd like, or you can leave it blank. The All Fields Smart tag that appears by default just means that the message portion of this email will contain all of the filled in fields that the user submitted in your form. Once these settings are configured, Let's set up our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form. Message, show page, or go to URL. The message option will display any message that you write in this available text field. The show page option allows you to select an existing page on your site, like a thank you page or something similar that will be displayed after the user clicks on the submit button and the go to URL setting will redirect a user to a different website entirely. Once we're done, we're going to save our changes and we're ready to add our RSVP form to our site. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we're going to click on the plus icon below the title and either click on the Browse All option to find WP Forms or you can type WP Forms in the available search bar. We'll then click on our RSVP form, hit Publish, and we're all set. You now know how to create an RSVP form for your WordPress site. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page 
which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.